Vice President Katarina, and thank you very much for accepting our interview on behalf of the Egg University and on behalf of the students who are present here and the faculty members on the occasion of our Employment Network event. Uh, my first question is about an announcement you made uh, during the previous months in an interview that uh, you would uh, create, the European Commission would create 1.3 million jobs in line of EU policies. So could you please tell us what is the nature of this project? Yeah, let me first thank you for a very good idea to have this kind of interview. The new Commission will co concentrate on investment because the Europe is lacking of investment and investment are very important because it usually leads to better competitiveness, mm -hmm. which is a precondition of job creation. Mm -hmm. So we have a so-called Juncker plan, investment plan in which there are three different elements. The first one is a new risk uh, fund, which will lend money and do risk sharing uh, investment mm -hmm. and equity investment to small and medium sized enterprises mm -hmm. in order to, uh, to help them to invest in the future. Also, the fund will concentrate on infrastructure projects and higher risk ones. Mm -hmm. So this is supposed to strengthen, um, uh, strengthen job creation and investment. The second part of the plan is project pipeline. It basically means that we will establish a European platform for infra uh, projects mm -hmm. in order to keep better visibility for projects from different countries and attract private money to invest in those projects. Mm -hmm. now, the third and probably the most important part of the plan is deepening and widening of internal market. For instance, in digital services mm -hmm. and goods, we don't have well-functioning internal market and that's mm -hmm. why we have to do some changes and harmonize legislation in European level. Okay, thank you very much. So, um, I had a look to your s s summary of your biography and um, you, con you have been confirmed as a, a commissioner last year after being a, a prime minister of Finland. And um, our students, uh, usually they choose to have an international career uh, right after high school. And this is the reason why they come in our program in the EGG. And uh, why did you choose to go in an international career at this, this moment of your career? Well, the European policy has always been one of my obsessions. I have always been interested in creating better Europe, more competitive Europe, more uh, uh, free or freer Europe, borderless Europe. I used to study European politics uh, as an Erasmus student oh. in UK. Mm -hmm. And my, um, I did my master thesis on European policy. Mm -hmm. And as a part of my former responsibilities as Minister of Finance and then Prime Minister European policy has always been in integral part and important part of my job. And now I just decided to move forward in my life mm -hmm. after having been 10 years as a party leader, seven years in a minister or in the government in various positions. It was quite natural step forward to come to the Commission and concentrate purely on European issues. Okay. Um, so, uh, where you are studying political science, uh, EU policies, um, in your opinion, which main skill a student should acquire in order to work at this EU level? For, so, what have you learned from uh, universities that you immediately apply now at this moment? Well, um, I would encourage everybody who are studying in the university to use Erasmus uh, exchange programs opportunities. Mm -hmm. Erasmus is something what EU is offering to young Europeans. It's a cheap or free way to go to, the, to another European countries to, to study, mm -hmm. but also study uh, for life mm -hmm. and learn from different cultures, from different other nationalities. Mm -hmm. So I really encourage university students to, to use Erasmus opportunities. Also trainees, traineeships uh, are very important. The Commission is offering uh, trainee places and all the, all, the, all the governments or the foreign ministries are offering trainee uh, opportunities in foreign countries or in different countries. So I very much encourage students to use both Commission, the European Parliament's uh, opportunities mm -hmm. to be a trainee, but also your, your own country's yeah. uh, opportunities to be in, in foreign embassies, for instance. Mm. And um, 
So if we think about um, the cooperation between the job market and the university, um, in the Netherlands we have a system of having a research universities and as well applied science universities, professional universities. Do you think there should be more interactions between these universities and as well, of course, with the employers to make sure that students are better prepared? So uh, I don't know what is the system in Finland, but mm -hmm. what would be, uh, I would say, a good interaction between the different? I think the most important thing um, which would help uh, people to get a new job mm -hmm. or the first job is to strengthen entrepreneurship uh, within the university. Okay. Because uh, in Europe, universities have traditionally educated people to some particular profession mm -hmm. and they have not been uh, kind of uh, hubs for entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. But when looking at what the Europe is needing, it, it needs at the moment, mm -hmm. it's a transformation from science to innovations. And at the heart of innovation, there's always entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. So that's why universities could be even more uh, than, the, than what they are today as a home base for entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. So it would um, bring relevance from working life to the universities without jeopardizing the independence of uh, fundamental research. Mm -hmm. So my next question is a bit more informal. Uh, you are in charge of, uh, of competitiveness and uh, during the next month there will be the Eurovision Song Contest. So my question is, uh, you know that Australia is competing. Uh, do you still think that European countries will win against Australia? So what is your, I would say, pronostic about this? Of course, European countries will, will take the leading position. I wouldn't like to bet which one of our member states will win it, but uh, it is the European Song Contest, and I'm sure that the quality and competitiveness of our song makers and singers are so high that they, uh, some of our member states will win. I'm sure that my students will be very happy about that. So, again, you look at the Kita Payon, Thank you very much. Kitos. Thank you.